Let me show you how to use the AI email writer and drafter from JotForm. It's going to be available on your Gmail, Google workspace. So let me show you how right now. Hey, what's up everyone? My name is George and on this video, I'm going to show you how to install the AI email writer and drafter from JotForm. It's going to automatically or manually draft the emails for you. Now the draft emails are not going to be some random emails written. It's going to be emails that are written that are based on the email that you received. So it's going to be a customized email draft. Okay. So let me show you how right now, if you jump over to Google workspace marketplace, you'll be able to install the AI email writer and a drafter for the Gmail. Now you can do it straight from here from the Google workspace marketplace, but I'm going to show you an easier way to do this. If we jump into our Gmail account, we're going to have an option that has a little plus button here on the right where it says get add ons. So what we're going to do is click on get add ons. I'm going to search for job form AI and I'm going to find this one. That's the email writer and draft agent for Gmail. So I'm going to install it. And once I do that, I'm going to get a brand new icon here in Gmail. If I click on it, I'm going to get a few settings that I can start using right away. Now, if you want to start drafting emails, once you install this and you connect with job form, you'll be good to go. I'm going to go to this email just for testing purposes, and I can go to reply and I can manually reply here by just typing in my reply, but I can take full advantage of the job form AI agent. So I can click on the job form AI agent and I'm going to click on the AI email writer and draft agent for Gmail here. And I have a brand new option that says, that says here, generate a draft. Now, right now we are doing this manually. If we don't enable this, the auto generate draft. Now, if you want to have these drafts ready to go as soon as you open up the email, well, that would be the best option. But if you want to do this manually just for certain emails, this is the manual way to do this. So you can go ahead and generate the draft email right now by clicking on it, and it's going to generate an email right now for the draft. We can go ahead and go through it, modify it if we like, and then reply. So it just generated this for, for us now. But right now, this is just for testing purposes. But that is one of the ways that you can do this manually. I would recommend that you do uh, auto generate a draft. Now that will automatically generate the draft as soon as you receive an email. Now these drafts are going to get smarter and smarter as your knowledge base grows and it learns from your emails. Now let me go through the settings now so you understand how this add on works here on Gmail. So the first thing that you're going to view here is, for example, the activity. If I go to the activity, it's going to show me in my job form account. The activity for all the conversations that are generated with the drafts. So for example, here's one of the test ones that I generated here. And this is just a random comment here. And here's an, an automatic draft. Now, if I go ahead and open the draft, this will open up the Gmail section of the email that we received, and we can go ahead and reply to it. So it's super easy and practical to view all the conversations right here. The next one I want to show you is the generate settings. So right now we enabled the auto generate drafts. As I mentioned before, what it does is that when you receive an email, it's going to automatically prepare a draft. So whenever you have time and you check that email, you'll have a ready to go draft to reply to it. So for example, if I go here, I already have this, this draft ready to go for me to go ahead and send off. If I like the reply, I'm good to go. But if not, I can go ahead and just skip on it, but it generates it for me automatically. The next option we have is the automatically learn from emails. I've enabled this. It's off by default. I do recommend that you turn it on because it's going to make your agent super smart because it's going to learn from the emails that you receive, learn from the replies and learn from the modifications that you make. So it's a fantastic option to enable to make your drafts even better. Okay. The next option I have is the automatically label emails. This one is enabled and it's going to automatically generate with AI the label. Now, right now we received three emails where this is tested and you can see this is a security notification. This is a personal test email, secure notification, personal test email and marketing emails, etc. These were automatically tagged by the agent. So these are also a fantastic option. So you get at a quick glance what the email is about with the tags. Plus with tags, you'll be able to view the labels over here on the left and you'll be able to go and filter out the emails that have only that label, which is super useful. The next option we have is the add a custom greeting. We can go ahead and enable this if we want to personalize a greeting for our users. For example, right now I'm going to be able to type here, save it and have a personal greeting for the messages. Okay. The next option we have is the auto custom greeting. So if you want to personalize a greeting to welcome users, go ahead and enable this type in your greeting message inside of here. Once you're good to go, go ahead and save this and you'll be good to go. In this case, I'm going to turn it off. 
And the next option we have is the automatically set meetings. So automatically it's going to set it into your Google calendar to enable this. We'll have to go and click on this option. Here we go. And it takes us to our agent that's tied to our Gmail account. We're going to set appointments with Google calendar. I'm going to add new. I am going to connect. I am going to authenticate. Select my Gmail account. I'm going to allow. Here we go. Select all continue. Here we go. We are now connected and we now have the option to set up our type of appointments. For example, if I go to edit and we have the option to set the appointment slot durations, intervals, the weekends, the lunchtime, our limits, the events options, and that will help us in the agent to have the Google Calendar set up meetings for us. Plus, with this connection, we are now integrated with the automatically set meetings here on our Gmail. Now, we also have advanced settings. So if I go to show more, I have the options to view the knowledge base and the knowledge base is going to be super important for your agent to become smarter and give you better draft emails for your Gmail. Now to do that, we're going to make it smarter by adding to our knowledge base, either by typing in content here, by adding a link that has to do with your company, your products, your details, privacy policy, etc. Files, questions and answers, a YouTube video, send desk and fresh desk. And all of this will make your replies much better. Okay. Then we have actions to set conditions for replies and tasks. Let's go ahead and go to actions. Let me go ahead and show you this. And we have actions to make it smarter. Actions are kind of like saying conditional logic. So in actions, I'll be able to set, for example, remove all channels and I'll be able to set only Gmail to make an action work only with Gmail. For example, when a user talks about, I don't know, a refund or a complaint, for example, then I can do something. I can, for example, send out an email and I can send out an email saying, hey, you know what? Someone is complaining. Take care of this manually and super quick. So it's just a, an option for using conditional logic for certain scenarios. So it's a great option to enable the actions and then the tools to extend our Gmail agents capabilities. So if I go to this options, I can add more tools to this. For example, show presentations, send WhatsApp messages, screen share, show QR code and just different options that we can start using here that is going to make our agent more robust. And last thing I want to show you is once you have your agent created and connected to your AI add on with Gmail, go to publish, go to the Gmail agent tab, go to settings and in settings, you'll have a few options that are not available in the add on on Gmail. So for example, automatically learn from emails. I have it enabled, so that's why it's available here. I can also enable it from here. Add a custom greeting, which we saw already email signature. If I want to use the one from Gmail or if I want to create a custom one, I can do it through here. If I want to add AI assistant note. So in the automatic drafts, it'll say that it was generated by John form AI. So I can go ahead and turn this off if I don't want to display that auto delete drafts. So if within a few days I don't use the draft, I can automatically delete it after a few hours or days here. And then we also have the advanced options again, the automatic label emails select labels to create drafts. So if I want to create more labels here to be used by AI to automatically label them, I can create them here and I can exclude email types. For example, I don't want it to automatically draft for promotional emails for no replies, emails for transactional emails, CC or BCC emails, or I can automatically custom add emails here that I don't want it to draft emails. So you have all those available options to start using right now. So go ahead and add your AI email writer and draft agent from job form. So what are you waiting for? Let me know what you think about this new add on here on Google Workspace and what you would like to see in the future. Don't forget to like subscribe and hit that little bell notification to get notified when new videos come out. And that's a wrap.